Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Taurus, it's Dana. What's going on, you guys? How is the tribe rolling these days? You dominating, you conquering, you kicking ass, taking names and kicking ass, huh, huh Taurus? Taking names and kicking ass. All right, let's do it. We are going to throw some cards for Taurus. Give me a minute to channel. I'll see what the message is. I'll confuse the heck out of you, and then I'll go back to the top and read it. All right, let's do it. Spirit. Source. <laughs> Spirit, source, goodness, they want to talk, Taurus, universal energy. I have the collective with me, Spirit, and the collective of Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus, and what does this particular Taurus need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards the Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, what is it that Taurus needs to know? All right. All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the lovers, holy schmoly and judgment. And the two of swords. Interesting. Three of Cups in Reverse, the Five of Cups in Reverse, and Justice on the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Cups. Holy cow, Taurus. All right. All right. Temperance. First card out the box. Temperance. To the Page of Wands in Reverse. A Lack of Desire. The World card. Something changing. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, um, a loss to the Six of Pentacles into some kind of some kind of balance or harmony. The full brand new beginning, brand new journey. The Five of Wands, some kind of conflict. Ace of Swords in reverse, not seeing something clearly. The Four of Pentacles, um, control, protection, stability, and the sense of well-being. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, possibly not thinking straight, possibly in some state of denial, maybe angry, to the Four of Swords. Contemplation, reevaluation, the Queen of Cups in reverse. We'll see emotional insecurity to the Wheel in reverse. It's a blockage to the Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords in reverse, renewal, regeneration, sometimes inevitable endings. The Queen of Pentacles, the Tower in reverse, getting over something. The Six of Cups, family home, nostalgia memories. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Wands in reverse. And the High Priestess to the Hermit, to the Page of Swords. Wow, you guys. All right, let's figure this all out. I'm doing it backwards today. I normally use these cards for the uh, root cards, but I just feel, I feel like being a little freaky today, Taurus, okay? I feel like being a little freaky. So, let's just do it this way. Tell me what temperance is right here, please. Why is it that the Taurus needs to be tempered? Um, what is happening with this particular card? It's the first card out, so it sets the tone for everything. Temperance, justice in reverse. Injustice, a lack of accountability, 
um, tempering yourself when it comes to something that you feel you got screwed over on. Ooh, look at that. The Five of Swords. Yeah, mind mindset. Okay. Um, the Page of Wands in reverse. A lack of motivation. A lack of inspiration. Uh, setback sometimes. Tell me about this Page of Wands in reverse. Oh, is it a setback? Is it a setback to the Taurus if they don't temper themselves? Tell me about the Page of Wands in reverse. Death. Boom. Ooh, what's that underneath it? Death. Okay. Okay. Prince of Cups in reverse and death. Fantastic. And ending a change, a transformation in the world. Something huge is changing. Oh, wait. This was flipped over, too. Something huge is changing in the world. Tell me about the world card, please. Tell me. All right, Taurus, this is a real basic, straightforward kind of kind of message here, okay? Um, a couple of things you need to know about me before we get started. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I probably will swear, and I will smoke my vape on camera. If any of that bothers you at all, the neighborhood is too rough, and you need to go on down the road, okay? All right, let's do it. So, that's the bottom of the deck over there. All right. So the first card out is temperance, okay? Sets the tone for everything, okay? Everything that comes after this is going to be about you being in a place of temperance, okay? Temper yourself. What's it about? Well, 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 temperance. What's it about? Justice in reverse. An injustice that was perpetrated against you Five of Swords, a mindset that you are holding on to with a white knuckle grip, okay? What's that mindset? Well, it's the Four of Pentacles in reverse, self-protection, justice in reverse, protecting yourself from an injustice or self-protection because, again, second time, an injustice that has been committed against you. Okay. However, this card being Major Arcana talking to you specifically says that it is a lack of accountability for your journey for you to have a white knuckle grip on some kind of win at all cost mindset, right? It is what it is. I believe what I believe. It is what it is, period. I got screwed over. They screwed me over. The situation screwed me over and I am just pissed about it. And that's just the end of it. Justice in reverse says it's it's a lack of accountability. You got to come to terms with this. This is what temperance is about, okay? Justice in reverse. What's the injustice? The lovers in reverse to the three of swords. What's the injustice? Well, some kind of relationship did not work out for you. And there is grief and sorrow and pain that you carry in your mind about the whole situation. What's the problem? Queen of Cups in reverse. Your feelings got hurt. Okay? Hurt feelings. Um, hurt feelings. Therefore, you are in self-protection mode because of some kind of hurt feelings, because of some kind of injustice that, that was or you feel was perpetrated against you. Okay? The High Priestess comes on top of all of this. Big smash sandwich right here. Right? Big smash sandwich. High Priestess comes on top of all of it. Temperance to the High Priestess. Your job in this situation is to follow where your intuition is going to lead you. Listen very carefully. Tell your flesh to take a back seat and listen very carefully to where your intuition is going to lead you because they need you to be tempered in the upcoming situation or circumstances. Okay? All right. The Prince of Cups in reverse on top of the Prince of Wands, Page of Wands in reverse. All right. Page of Wands in reverse is about a lack of ambition, a lack of desire. It is a card that talks about um, a, a, a pessimism. Okay. Pessimism. Just pessimistic. Why? Because you're protecting yourself. Why? Because you got screwed over somehow, some way. Okay, 
um, Prince of Cups in reverse. Not interested in sharing any feelings about anything with anyone. To the Death card. This is Major Arcana. It says things are about to change for you, Taurus. And they need you to temper yourself so they can change. Death is a massive transformation. It's an ending for a new beginning. Hence the world card, right? New beginning. Okay? This is all that you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself because there's an opportunity coming towards you where you are going to need to participate in it. Okay? Ten of Pentacles to the world. Ten of Pentacles to the world. Um, the This particular cycle of your life is over and there is a a prosperous new foundation by which to build your future being offered to you by the universe. Okay. What's, what's going on? The Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse says you need to have a reevaluation of your belief systems. What's your belief system? Well, this win at all costs five of swords, right? It is what it is. I believe what I believe. It is the way that it happened. My perspective is the only perspective. And that's just the way it needs to be. Okay? Hierophant in reverse says there needs to be an overhaul of that belief system so you can grow. Okay? To the Ten of Pentacles. Again, there is a firm, prosperous foundation about to be offered to you in your life, Taurus. And you're going to have to get it together so you can see what the heck is going on. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, a loss, perhaps, um, from the past. Okay? Um, whatever this injustice is, is this Ten of Pentacles in reverse for you. Okay? King of Cups in reverse comes on top of this and talks about emotional volatility. It talks about um, 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 emotional codependency. It talks about, I think what this is for you is just like loss, right? Because you got the, the loss of the King of Cups in reverse, all of it pouring out. You got the loss of the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You have the Ten of Swords in reverse, which talks about inevitable endings, and the Three of Wands in reverse, which talks about a lack of foresight. It also talks about obstacles to your long-term goals. The Hermit. Let's do some soul searching and some introspection about this. So, okay, so this is associated with the mindset. Look, to the page of wands so we can get your focus and your inspirations in the right direction because there is some kind of a message that's coming to you Taurus there's absolutely a message that's coming to you that is going to lead you in the direction of your path and your purpose to the ten of cups and it's going to be very very emotionally fulfilling for you so the world card, this next phase of your life, the world is the last card of the major arcana. It talks about completion, right? Completion, um, accomplishment. Sometimes it talks about traveling or moving. And you very well may be traveling or moving to engage with whatever this beautiful Ten of Pentacles death card is right here. Okay? Um, but there's something phenomenal right in front of you, Taurus right in front of you. But your problem is, is that you're all downtrodden and stuck in the past and stuck of a, in a sense of loss, maybe a lack of motivation because you are stuck in a mindset of loss. And the operative word there is mindset. Okay. What you think about comes about. And apparently your mindset is not in line with the direction that your life needs to go because there is a fantastic opportunity, a brand new cycle that you are about to step into, but you got to get in the game. You got to get your mind in the game to be ordered, to be able to recognize this when it happens.
the hermit, major arcana. So let's do some soul searching and some introspection. Let's work this out over here because there is a divinely orchestrated process trying to take place in your life. And whoever I'm talking to here, you don't want to, um, let go of something, something that is, that is rooted in your mind. You don't want to let go of it. The queen of cups in reverse is also about insecurity, um, about insecurity, about yourself. Maybe this injustice that happened to you back in the past, back there, um, robbed you of some, um, some sense of self somehow. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, you lost your sense of self because of a bad situation that happened in your past. And now there is a massive, massive turning point in your life. But you got to reevaluate what it is that you believe about yourself, your life, your future, what you want out of your life. Because what you believe is the subconscious thoughts that ruminate in, in, inside of you. Right. And, and, and that's what's going to become your reality. So they need you to stop percolating on whatever this, this pain is over here and begin to focus on the future. Do some soul searching and some introspection, page of wands, because things are about to change for you. You're about to, you are about to have some kind of opportunity present itself to you. The star that is purposeful for your path. The star is also about, um, renewal. Um, it's about hope and faith, and it is about the purpose of your path to the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, come on, Taurus. This is crazy talk here. Ten of Pentacles twice, Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, the world, death. I mean, there is a really, really big deal about to open up in your life, Taurus, but you're all stuck over here in some kind of downtrodden mentality. The Six of Pentacles, you about to start giving and receiving and sharing in the prosperity of life with someone. Eight of Wands, shit in your life about to change, Taurus. Man, it's about to change. It's about to change. The Hierophant, there is going to be a contract, a commitment of some sort in your near future that is going to elevate your financial situation. Straight up, there is some kind of something in your future that is about to elevate your financial situation. Three of Cups, reunion, celebration, getting together, meeting people, um, friendship, community, abundance, celebrating abundance. You are about to step into abundance, Taurus. Holy cow. Man, I hope this is root for me. I'm a Taurus sun, by the way. Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. But I'm a Taurus sun. So, yeah, come on with it. I'm down for this. I'm down for this. I already done let go of that bullshit back there. I'm down for this. All right. Some kind of celebration. Meeting someone. All right. All right. To the fool. There is a brand new beginning, a brand new journey right, right, right in front of you, right in front of you. But the conflict that you are holding, five and a five of swords right there, right? The conflict that you are holding on to in your mind, the sun in reverse, is going to blind you from seeing this opportunity, Sun in reverse is also, it's sun in reverse about not seeing something clearly for me. And it's also about a downtrodden kind of mentality. Energy, right? Fire, sense of being to the chariot in reverse. And this is a blockage. The universe is having a hard time getting you to where you need to go because you are holding on to something inside of yourself that you need to come to terms with. A, the chariot in the upright is about putting in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to get done what needs to get done. And in the, in the chariot in reverse, you're not doing that because you're holding on to some kind of a mindset. And they're like, let's go. There's a brand new beginning, a brand new cycle, a change, a turnover, a great deal of prosperity right in your near future. It's like, right, it's, it's already there. 
All you have to do is get rid of this wall so you can take it. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse, but you're not seeing clearly. You're not seeing clearly at all in the center of your reading, no less. To the Three of Swords in reverse, you have to let go of the grief and the sorrow and the pain of the injustice from the past that is holding your mind prisoner. Three of Swords in reverse is about coming to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you carry in your mind. Coming to terms with it. It's also a card about forgiveness and understanding. To the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Some kind of united relationship in your future. To the Four of Wands. That is going to bring you a great deal of peace, stability, safety, and satiety into your life. There is a relationship that is headed towards you, but you have to come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you hold in your mind. Ace of Swords in reverse because you're not seeing things clearly. Okay? You're not seeing things clearly. It's blocking your vision. That's what it's been saying. The Four of Pentacles. You need to pull yourself together. Pull yourself together and get yourself under control. Why? Well, the Princess of Cups, because there's a message coming at you. Queen of Swords in reverse. And if you're all salty still, if you're all salty about things, Five of Cups, salty about loss and regret and despair and disappointment, you're not going to be able to engage in it. To the Seven of Pentacles. Take a step back, reflect and assess on, on this whole situation, come to terms with it somehow, some way, and let it go because you can't take it into this. You can't take it. It won't fit. It's new cycle for you. This old cycle of your life needs the phase of your life, right? This old phase of your life that you've been in for a minute needs to come to an end. The old phase of your life is rooted in some kind of mentality that you will not let go of. This mentality is directly related to your emotional insecurity. It's directly related to hurt feelings. It's directly related to self-protection. Okay? Reflect, assess, get over it. To the Four of Swords. Contemplate, reevaluate. The Three of Swords has been here twice already, okay? The Three of Swords is on the wall behind this guy. Four of Swords comes out of the Three of Swords. Contemplation, reevaluation, bringing stability to the mindset and pushing forward. Bringing stability to what kind of mindset? Well, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Some kind of really big, deep insecurity that you have, Taurus. Needs to go by the wayside. Six of Pentacles. So you can be a viable, equal, even, sit three on one side, three on the other, right? Um, participant in this opportunity that's about to come towards you. Six is about communications, uh, cooperation, balance, harmony, problem solving. Okay. So problem solving, you need to, what's the problem? You need to fix this about yourself. Okay. Wheel in reverse because it's a blockage. We cannot divinely orchestrate the steps of your path if you are resistant to it. Mm -hmm. The Wheel of Fortune and the Upright are the divinely guided steps of your path. It is whatever it is that you call it. We all call it all kinds of funny names. It's your source energy literally helping you to live a successful, satisfied, tempered life. All four elements jiving at the same time because we are much, 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 much more used to the universe when we are overflowing instead of leaking from the bottom. Okay? This overflow that's about to happen to you, Taurus, can't happen if you're leaking from the bottom. 
Remember, the first card out was temperance. Temperance is the four elements of the tarot. It represents the emotions. It represents the sense of well-being, the thought life, and the inspirations on the inside of us. When all four of those are rocking at the same time, we're awesome. And we're just, we're, we're happy and we're contented and we're peaceful. And when we're happy and contented and peaceful, that pours over onto everything and everyone around us. When there is a leak in the bottom, you can't overflow. And therefore, you can't really be of any good use, right? To the, to the, to your path and your purpose. Because of this stuff, right? Because you don't see things. You don't come to terms with things. You just let things eat you up inside. And that's just not, it's not conducive to a peaceful, happy life. There's a blockage. What's the blockage? Whatever this emotional security sadness thing is for you. The high priestess in reverse. It keeps you disconnected from your intuition. Prince of Swords in reverse. You're not thinking straight, not thinking straight, thinking upside down. You're not thinking straight. Remember what you think about comes about. And up here in this five of swords, you're obsessed about whatever this is, this pain from your past. You're obsessed about it. So guess what your life becomes? Well, that. If you obsess on what on the negative, on what you don't want, on what happened, that's what keeps on happening. They need you to change the way that you think, the star in reverse, because it's not purposeful for your life, just like this star in reverse. It's not purposeful for your life. To the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and you're going to miss an opportunity, the opportunity of a lifetime, if you don't snap to it and come to terms with this. The Ten of Cups, happiness, success, emotional fulfillment. The Ten of Swords in reverse, renewal, regeneration, the King of Wands to your success, to your pursuits of, of achievement and success in your life, to the Fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey lies ahead of you. It's here twice. Quantum leaps in your life, Taurus, quantum leaps, freedom, independence, quantum leaps. Listen to your heart's voice. It will show you the path of your best and highest good. Your intuition is your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to lead you in the path of your best and highest good. Calibrating that compass all the time to point you towards your true north. Listen to it. Fool. Brand new beginning brand new journey, Queen of Pentacles, to a place of a great deal of security, to a place of a great deal of, of abundance, abundance and security. Wow. To judgment, conscious, cognitive, draw a line in the sand kind of decision that will result in a rebirth that goes right back to the death card. The tower in reverse. Tower in reverse is about getting over it. It's about getting over the tower. Because the tower is supposed to be an indication that what we're trying to build can't, can't be built where we've chosen to build it. Can't bear the weight of what it is that we want to build. So it crumbles. And you've been... You've been crawling in the rubble over there. Whatever this was for you created a great deal of insecurity inside of you. Maybe you don't think that you can participate in a relationship. But it needs to change. Okay? Needs to change. You need to get over this. Five of Pentacles in reverse and come out the cold. Because this is a place of, a place of spiritual poverty. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles in reverse talks about spiritual poverty. Staying in this tower moment is a place of spiritual poverty. Why? Because the universe cannot divinely orchestrate the steps of your path if you are not participating. 
If you're not vibing on your highest vibe, creating, manifesting into your life good things, things that are in your best and highest good, come out of the cold. Nine of Wands in reverse. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. The Six of Cups. Tell me about this Six of Cups. I want to know about this. Eight of Cups in reverse. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. Tell me about this six, this Eight of Cups. Page of Swords. Wow. Six of Cups in reverse. Ha! To the Five of Swords. Okay. All right. The kind of life that you want to build for yourself, the Six of Cups. I must say, I have to point out, I cannot go without saying that this is soulmate energy, okay? Why is it soulmate energy? Because this is divinely orchestrated into your life. This is the next phase of your life that you need to step into, okay? This phase of your life is going to hold place with a soulmate. Now, hear me. So hear me, hello, psh, psh, psh. back here, hear me. Soulmates do not mean forever and always amen romantic relationship. That is not, is not, is not what a soulmate is. This could be a work relationship and a soulmate of yours, part of your soul tribe, soul family, um, just happens to be the CEO of the company. And you're about to break out, about to break out, Taurus, because your soulmate is being sent to you. So the path and the purpose of your life can be revealed. So you can go in the direction that your soul growth is supposed to go. A soulmate could be a landlord. You go to look at a place and for whatever reason you're having a hard time and you go to look at a place and a soulmate tribe of yours happens to be the landlord. And for whatever reason, they have empathy, compassion, mercy on you and they let you get in the house with no money down and no dog deposit. Going to break it up into some monthly payments and tack it on your rent or something. Because they're part of your soul tribe. They're part of your soul journey. And their job is to make sure that right then and there, your needs are met and you're taken care of. Understand? Could this be a soulmate, a love relationship soulmate? Abso-fucking-lutely. Absolutely. No doubt at all that this could be the love of your life soulmate journey. However, for those of y'all out there who are not in the love of your life soulmate journey, this could be anything for anyone. But someone is being orchestrated into your life. An opportunity is being orchestrated into your life that is the shit, Taurus. It's the shit. Okay, but you got to get over yourself. You got to get over yourself. Okay, six of cups, warm, fuzzy, good, the, 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 the things that make life worth living. Okay, six again is a number of about, it's about cooperation, balance, and harmony in the emotions being the cups, right? Water energy. So this, this beautiful life, eight of cups in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse says you have got to abandon something, though. What do you have to abandon? Well, this mentality, Five of Swords, this mentality back here. Why? Six of Cups in reverse. Because you can't create the future if you are stuck in the past. Can't create the future if you're stuck in the past. Page of Swords. Because you're about to talk to someone, Taurus. You are. You're about to talk to someone. Someone is about to communicate with you, Taurus. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, but you ain't ready. Not ready. Not ready. 
Why? Because you're lamenting about unmet expectations from your past. Queen of Cups in reverse, again, She's like, it's like the fourth time she's here. Insecurity. Sadness. A lack of emotional identity. Three of Wands in reverse. This is obstacles to your long-term goals because you're not having foresight. Princess of Wands. Someone's coming at you, Taurus. You're going to meet someone and it is going to spark. It's just going to spark. And you can't feel insecure about yourself. You need to be strong. Own your shit like this Queen of Pentacles right here. She owns it. Own yourself, Taurus. High Priestess, we need you to listen. We need you to listen very, very closely. We need you to listen very closely. Temperance, you need to be tempered. You're right back to the top, right? You need to be tempered in the way that you go about conducting yourself so you will not bypass this opportunity to the hermit again let's do some soul searching and some introspection because we need to get some things straight so this phase of your life can close out and the new phase of your life can begin a beautiful phase of your life that is going to offer you a tremendous amount of security a tremendous amount of financial stability a tremendous amount of growth and a tremendous amount of peace and happiness in your life, Taurus. Do some soul searching and some introspection. Page of Swords, clarified by the Page of Swords. Because you're about to start talking to someone. You are. You're about to start talking to someone about something, about some kind of commitment that's going to change everything. That's what you're going to start talking to someone about, some kind of commitment that changes everything. Wow. Then on the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Cups. New emotional growth, new emotional connections. Eight of Swords in reverse. Get out of your head, though. You need a new perspective. Three of Swords about the grief and the sorrow and the pain. Justice. Take accountability for the situation. Take accountability for the situation and um, bring some fairness, some, some justice into your life. To the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And come out of the cold, come out of a state of spiritual poverty. Three of Cups in reverse to the Two of Swords. Tell me what this Three of Cups in reverse is about, please. What is this Three of Cups in Reverse about? Is it even supposed to be in the reverse? Because if I read it prop, if I read it the way that I think it should be read, it reiterates the Three of Cups up at the top. So tell me what this Three of Cups in Reverse is about. The Queen of Wands in Reverse. Okay, your saltiness. Okay, okay. Um, so is this from the past then? Seven of Swords, Betrayal, Deception, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And look, the two of two of pentacles. Okay. So, yep. So that's what that's saying, right? So the three of cups in reverse tells me that someone chose someone else over you in the past. Um, that there was third party interference. That there was problems. Um, whatever situation you were in that has caused all this saltiness that we've been talking about for you has to do, and that might be where the root of the deep insecurity comes from, is that um, possibly someone cheated on you, possibly um, the boss chose someone over you, um, whatever it is, but you got the short end of the stick in this whole thing right here, right? You were deceived, you were betrayed, you were betrayed, Taurus. Uh -huh. Two of Pentacles comes on top of it, though, and talks about balancing things out. Oh, I forgot about this Queen of Wands right here, right? Saltiness. Salty about it. Salty, needs not being met, a lack of confidence, a lack of success, a lack of enthusiasm to the Two of Pentacles. Need to balance this out. Two of Swords. Two twos. You only have... You only have you only have two choices in a two. You either stay the same or you do something different. 
So balance this out, prioritize balancing this out. Two of Swords, because you're at a real serious crossroads right now, Taurus. Real, real serious crossroads. Real serious crossroads. Why? Well, because you're either going to stay in this sour attitude or you're going to come to terms with it all once and for all. Trust yourself, trust your intuition, know your worth, and put your head up, put your back straight, and walk into some kind of brand new spectacular situation in your life. The lovers. A divinely orchestrated union between you and someone else. The lovers is also about self-love, right? Self-love to judgment. Make a conscious cognitive decision to bring all of this to an end. Reevaluate your belief systems and, and take accountability for your future. You cannot create the future if you continue to live in the past. Okay, Taurus? I love y'all. Namaste.